name to you, cat. Welcome to my channel. Today we are playing Tokyo Dark. And hopefully we're not in the situation where I think the game is going to be longer and it's actually just two seconds away from indie. Now I'll figure out something to do. Anyways, let's continue. Alright. I don't know exactly what you think is going to happen when you find it, but everything I found tells me it's dangerous. No! You're wrong! The door isn't for you! The collector said so. He said, if I had the mask, I could find it again. He said, if I found the a shrine belonging to Kawana, that I could find it. So you met him too. Reina, he wasn't trying to help us. He must have been toying with us. Shut up! Y you don't know anything! He told me the mask would let me see the door again. Just like... Just like the day mommy died. When they put the mask on me. I kept my eyes closed like mommy told me to. Even when people started getting sick and crying. But I saw it. The door. Even with my eyes still closed. When I looked at it, I heard mommy's voice. And I knew if I found it, everything would be okay. I opened my eyes. And it was gone. They took the mask, and they saw Mommy on the ground. She wasn't moving anymore. I could tell. It was all my fault. It must have been. I did something wrong. But he told me if I found the mask, I can make it right again. I'm being punished for being a big screw-up. For not being pure like they told me to be. Except... People like Higashi... They shouldn't have hurt me. They should have left me alone. I had to punish them. I just want to stop them from hurting me. That doesn't make me bad, right? You understand, don't you? Funny thing is, that if Tanaka was here, he'd understand. Even after everything you did to him. That's the kind of guy he is. Reina. It's not all your fault. This is beyond you. It always has been. That's why Tanaka was so intent on following you from the start. You weren't just some orphan girl. He somehow saw the darkness that was behind you. If only he had told me. I could have been there for him. Helped him. But no, I... You could have helped me, Ayami. He was helping me. He was going to save me. Then why? If he was helping you, why hurt him? I... I didn't want to hurt Tanaka. That was the only way to bring him here. The same way I was brought here. I thought I'd figure it out. But my white knight abandoned me. Went somewhere else. It turns out... It was just another stupid idea from a stupid girl. What you did to Tanaka was wrong, but you can still make this right. You brought him down with you that night. Where is he? I... I don't know where he is. Just tell me what happened from the beginning. I... It's hard to remember. Please try. Nothing's gone the way I thought it would. When I went back to Shinjuku, I... I remember how it ended up in the dark. I... knew I had to do so Tanaka could be with me. Only the mask wasn't awake. It wasn't loud. Like in Kamakura, so I made you come into the tunnel with me. And Tanaka, so it could wake up. And I slit his throat. I went back to the dark, and I waited. Tanaka woke up down here too, but... The mask was gone. He was alive? He was like me. Or I thought he was. At first he seemed okay. But then he started wandering around. Staring into space and talking to people who weren't there. Poor Tanaka. I think I broke him, Ayami-chan. So he was down here. 
Tell me where he is. <laughs> you don't get it, do you? I don't know where he is, and I don't care. Tanaka abandoned me. Even when he was here, he kept mumbling on about how he was going to help you. He gave you something, didn't he? That traitor. How else would you be able to keep finding me? He even said he saw the door. But he didn't take me there. I hate him. Why did he leave me? To think Tanaka would help a stupid little girl like me. It was dumb to try to bring him here. The collector said I'd find the door with the mask. I, I just didn't want to be alone is all. Now you're here. So I guess the mask is too. I didn't need him after all. He's gone. You're wrong. I can feel him somewhere here. He's waiting for me. You can? Maybe he's at the door. Please, take me there. Don't leave me. The mask opened the door and took me straight to Reina. And now that I'm here, I can feel it pulsing like a heartbeat. The door. A noble place. Where chance and fate have no importance. That's where Kazuki is. I know now what will happen if I lead her there. She'll get what she truly wants. She'll get to rest and finally be free. No more pain, no more suffering. Maybe that's what Kazuki would have wanted. But if I do that, the dark would change shape again. And any hope of fighting him would be lost. He'd be trapped there. He'd be trapped here, waiting for me. And I'd never be able to tell him the truth behind everything he suffered for. That's if the Kazuki Tanaka that's left here is the same man I love. Either way, I have to abandon someone. But it's my responsi responsibility I have to choose. Read Lena, Reina and say Tanaka, forgive Reina and lead her to the door. I feel really bad for Reina. She went through a lot. Like, Tanaka lived his life. Reina never had an option. We'll forgive Reina and lead her to the door. Like, Tanaka had us. He had a childhood. Reina never had it. Let's let her rest. Please! Don't hurt me. What I did to Danaka. It was the only way. You get it, right? Right? No, you're wrong. But then again, maybe there isn't a right way to begin with. In your own way, you're the same as me. Grasping at whatever you could. We may still be down here like you said. Will the Tanaka I find be the real him, though? If I used the mask, would I be the real me? I'm not so sure anymore. You're really not gonna go after him? No. I had to give up even more of myself, succumb even more to this darkness. He wouldn't have wanted that. You know, for a long time your face was all I saw ever since Kamakura. It motivated me to push through my sadness because I thought I was doing something good. Putting my problems behind me by becoming the hero and slaying some ancient evil. I didn't mean to do that. I didn't get to read that. Something about becoming a demon. No, I I'm not. I'm not a demon. No, you're not. You're just a girl. Always were. Besides, I'm no hero. I'm not sure if there is such a thing. I realize that now. Me, you, Tanaka, all three of us were just paper dolls caught in a storm, being blown by winds that were so far out of our control. I'm sorry. I didn't mean for any of it to happen. I just wanted a way out. I wanted to be normal. 
Tanaka was one of the smartest detectives. No, one of the smartest people I knew. I think he knew what would happen to him. Maybe that's why he was so distant. I wish things had played out differently for us. And for you. Reina. I know what happened to you. All of it. I don't know how I saw all those things. But... I can't just ignore them. No one deserves to experience what you did, Reina. Every day you lived in hell with no love or light. It was awful. We failed you, and I'm sorry. I forgive you, Reina. It hurts to say it. That's selfish, isn't it? I can't forget the pain you caused me despite how hard I try, but I do forgive you. Because somewhere along the way, this horrible cycle has to end. I don't want to hurt people anymore. Then come with me. Let me help you. Why? Where are we going? To the door. You said you heard your mom, right? Let's go see her. Dot, dot, dot. I'm scared. What if she isn't there? What if I was wrong? It's okay. There's nothing to be afraid of. You can rest. Like you always wanted. No more coming back. No more hurting people. Though, I can't tell you what's waiting for you. I know it's better than this. I promise. Ayami? Do you think it'll hurt? No. How do you know? I don't know. But the dark responds to the feelings of the people in it. Every time we butt heads, it punished me, pushed me out. It feels different now. It feels peaceful. What I'm trying to say is... I don't want to hurt you, Reyna. I only want to help. And I think the Dark will too. Okay. I'm ready. Thank you, Ayami. I don't know why you helped me. But, thank you. Rumble, rumble, rumble. Chink. Oh? What's gonna happen now? For years, Reyna searched for the door. The whole time it was nearby hidden by a thick darkness that shifted in reaction to her own hatred and fear. The mask began to tug at me, as if guiding us in together, hand in hand, and appeared in front of us. I wasn't sure how I hadn't noticed it before. It was like it had always been there. Until that moment, I never noticed how small and truly fragile she was. Standing in front of the door, she shook like a leaf. Squeezing her hand, I reassured her, told her that I forgave her, knowing that if she took a step forward, it would all be over and she'd find peace. I thought maybe I would too. For a long time, she, she stood saying nothing, and eventually she let go of my hand and moved through the door, and as soon as she did, her image began to fade. She was smiling. Not, unhid not the unhinged smile from the past, from my past, but her true smile, the smile of a little girl. It's that smile, free of hate and malice, I remember now. The dark remained even after she left, though it began to change. As I remained with it, within it, suddenly agitated and expansive, like it was growing. Somehow I knew what little light I saw was because of Reyna. Her fear and hatred diffused out of the shadows. Thanks to that light, I was able to find the surface. The mass didn't quiet after Reyna's passing and every day it became more restless. One day, I cast it into the sea near Kamakura and despite the Kawana woman's warning, it never returned to me. Though occasionally, I can still feel it scratching like a pin and needle on the back of my skull. The girl faded. When the girl faded, other memories did too. 
impressions of a man called Kazuki Tanaka in a love we once shared. I find pictures in my apartment that I know are him, yet all I see is the face of a stranger looking up at me. Some nights I wake up with tears in my eyes and, ima and images of that face crying out to me from some dark corner of my dreams, and I desperately try to remember why that memory remains. Yet something about those pictures and staying in the apartment feels familiar, even if I can't make sense of it some days. All I remember for sure is Raina's smile, knowing that in those final moments she gave, she forgave me for what I did to her. Oh, only a child is what I unlocked there. Finally, I was able to feel peace. Tokyo Dark by Cherry Mochi and other stuff that I'm not going to read. So that was pretty cool. I I actually really enjoyed this game. I wouldn't make you watch the credits though. It's sad that we forgot Tanaka. At least, you know, the kitty did well. But we- did we- We never figured out if we went back to the police, though. Like, did we get our jobs back? Our job back? Like... Or were we fired? credits Is that the last of the credits? Thanks to all 500. Oh, that's a lot of Kickstarters. Kickstarter backers, if you will. <gasps> There's more stuff. Interesting. Most interesting. You're you're nothing but a crow, feeding on the carrion uh, that time leaves in its wake. Hmm. Forgive me for. Not being impartial, an impartial spectator on the human suffering. The woman had her own desires. I only gave her a little push. I thought you'd be happy. Ito found forgive forgiveness through the context of her suffering by drowning herself in the past. A historian's dream. A gesture of extraordinary kindness, yes, but history does not smile at the happiness of one. It favors the welfare of all. Time is not a single thread, but a complex tapestry pushed and formed into a picture by the forces of fate and chance. The difference, the different threads, presents a myriad of truths, but all an aspect of the same visage. None the less. A myriad? Interesting. Interesting. I would have thought one so interested in history would adhere to a single truth. On the contrary, if history has taught me anything, it is that there is no one truth. The deeper one gazes, the more complex it becomes. Yes, all are the truth. All grant insight into the same puzzle. You're right, my old friend. Time is a spiral, and I observe it long, en and observe it long enough, 
and we may yet learn something. No. She is not your plaything. It is not your decision. There is only one way this can end. Only one way for the world to remain intact and stop the thing that's coming. It must be protected. The rule must be performed. The rule must be performed. Stubborn. So stubborn. Allow me to ask you a question. I believe I know it already. You asked it before. Indulge me. I asked her the same question. If the dancing puppet looks up and sees its strings, does it remain a puppet? What of fate and chance then? I answer your riddle with one of my own. You see the storm clouds approaching, and though you can take shelter and alter your course, or alter your course, does the storm not come regardless? <laughs> no fun. You've never tolerated my philosophical side. Nor you me, when I tell you how things are. I suppose that's because we are one and the same. But what of her? All we can do is see, but eventually she will end up here there. There is only one path that will hold the world together. Thanks for letting me know. <gasps> new game. New game plus? What's new game plus? New Game Plus English Yeah, I know Yes, about the autosave Are things gonna be different? Dot 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 Where, how? I feel groggy like I've woken up from a long sleep and forgotten another life in the process. Important dreams always fade too quickly to get a hold on why they moved you the way they did. What was it that was so important? What was I searching for? Dot dot dot. Kazuki, where are you? Oh, I can skip things now? Skip. So are new things going to happen? Are there... Is there going to be different stuff? Yeah, look. Pick up. Yep. Are you... Where are you? Quick. Phone rings. This is like all the same. Oh, I didn't look at the picture over this time. Okay, yep, skip. I should have moved over before I picked that up. Up, oh, skip. <gasps> Broken memories. I can save and continue. I can save now. Awesome. Okay. That's cool. Wait, can I load now? Will it let me load things? Uh, yeah. Five days ago, my partner... Kazuki Tanaka vanished, leaving police HQ. Yep. There was no sign of him, and we had no leads from... The blah, 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 blah. We... Tracing it led me here to this grimy road, east side of Shinjuku. Nothing good ever happened to this part of town. Okay. Let me see. Options. No? Okay. I like what right clicking? Right clicking doesn't do anything. Uh Main menu. Not look at the butterfly club. Main menu. Main menu. Main. Okay, fine. Okay, look. I'll go over here. Game. Main menu. Main menu. 
Broken memories. It does give me a sleep thing. That is cool. That's awesome. That makes playing <laughs> so much easier to get all of the, all of the stuff. How do I go back? I don't know how to go back though. Well, anyways, I'm taking it that nothing really has changed. It's it's just the usual um, going through to um, get all the ending sort of thing. It just gave me an ability to load and save so I can get all the endings, which is actually really cool because. I was thinking it's going to be really frustrating if I had to do everything from the beginning all the time to get all the ending. But anyways, my thoughts on the game. I enjoyed this so much. There were things I had no idea that were going to happen, which is always nice. Um, I know there's like loads of other things I didn't get to unlock. Um, the only, my only complaint would be that there's no little, um album sort of thing for like all the pictures I got that would be my only complaint but I love the music and the story was cool I didn't get to know if I went back to the police but I assume that's just because I didn't do a true ending and that wasn't really important for her in that ending um but yeah the story was great I, I liked the characters um yeah it is very mysterious. I loved it. I would definitely recommend it to other people to play. If you really like mysteries. But you don't want to get too caught up in a bajillion tiny mini games or anything like that. But yeah. Anyways, thank you for staying with me this long. I hope to see you in the next series. Don't know what it'll be. Maybe I'll go back to XOXO Droplets. We'll see how that goes. Because I still don't have my old computer. But yeah. If you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe. I am Tato Cat. Have a wonderful morning, evening, afternoon.